Hi, in this video, we will know about Armstrong numbers. First of all, we will know the logic of Armstrong and then we will make a program in Python for checking whether the number provided by the user is Armstrong or not. So for this, we should know what Armstrong number is. So here, as given, there will be a number provided by user to us. For this, we will take out the digits out of it because we will know how many digits are there and then we will do its power to the num. That means digit to the power num. And then we will sum up the power of digits. Let's understand this by some example. For example, I'll take 153. Here, first we need to know how many digits are there. That means three digits. And we will separate each of them. Three, five, one. And then we will do three to the power as three it is there. Three to the power three. Five to the power three. One to the power three. And then we will sum up all the these digits 3 to the power 3 is 27 5 to the power 3 is 125 and 1 to the power 3 is 1 so what it is 153 so have you noticed 153 is equal to the number the result which we go, get after this sum up is equal to the number provided by the user. If it is equal to the this number, then the number is Armstrong. We have divided this Armstrong number into three steps. First of all, we should know the number of digits. How many number of digits are there in this? So we will use reverse number strategy. After this, we will sum up the digits to the power nouns as we have digits three. So what we'll do, we will write power digits three or we can write digit into into three. And then simply we will compare some with the number provided by the user. We will use if condition over here, whatever sum we have got is equal to our original number then we will print armstrong so let's get started with our programming so let's start with our first step as i told you first step should be a reverse number why i said so because if i have the number 123 i want this numbers to be separated one two and three that we can get by remainder if i modulos 10 so i'll just divide it by 123 by one uh, 10 if i divide 10 i got 23 10 to 20 so what i got in remainder three so i'll write here three then 12 if i divide this by 1, 10. So this I got in remainder. And then 1, 1B, one itself be written like this. So it wasn't reverse number. So let's just write a num reverse number program first, and then we will write Armstrong number. So for this, I want the user should enter the number. So I'll write num is equal to, it should be an integer and input. Here, I'll write enter a number. And after this, I want to put in while loop, which num should be greater than zero. And then colon. And now I will take out remainder. So I'll start with the REM, stands for remainder. And then num modulo 10. 
Now I want to print this remainder three, two, and one. So here I'll write print remainder and then I will divide the rest one. Here I'll use floor division because we have to divide the rest number. As I have taken 123, 3 came in remainder, then I have to divide again 12 with 10. So let's see whether it will run or not. Let's clear this first. And we will run this. Enter a number, let's say I give 123. As I can see, 3, 2, 1. So this was for the reverse number. So I should write here also, reversing a number. Now, after reversing the number, first most thing we need to do is, here we need to take out the number of digits simultaneously. So I'll go to my pie chart and I'll write n is equal to len of num. For this, I'll go to first idle and we'll see whether it will take or not and it will give me result instantly. So here I'll write n or rather len n. So I'll see whether it will take or not. No, it has shown me the type error because object of type int has no len. Integer value will not be shown in the length. So here, what I'll do, I'll convert this to the string. Whatever integer I have taken, I first of all, I have converted into string by typecasting, and then I'll take out the length it has taken. Now it is giving me the length of one zero as one and two. Let's take out for four digit also, len str of four. Yes, so it is working well. Now I'll go to my pie chart and we'll apply the same thing. I will type cast this into the string and then here it will go while num is greater than zero. Then I'll take out the remainder. And then here, the second most thing what we need to do here is, we need to take out the sum of power. So here I'll go to my PyCharm. And first I need to define sum is equal to zero. And I'll write here sum is equal to sum plus and whatever remainder I'm getting, I will do multiply, multiply, whatever n I have got here, number of digits, I'll write n. Then I'll divide it. And now I'll define some x is equal to num. And here I'll go out of the loop. If x is equal to a sum, Colon, it will print Armstrong number. Else, colon, print not a Armstrong number. Let's see whether it will work or not. So I'll run it. I will enter number, let's say 153. Yes, it is Armstrong number. We have checked earlier. Now I'll, I want to give some other number like 123. Uh -oh. Yeah, I need to give 123 and then enter. Not an Armstrong number. Now I just want to give it something in four digit. Let's see in four digit also. So I'll put one six three four. Yes, it is an Armstrong number. Let's check it by ourselves also. 
1634 here number of digits are 4 so 4 to the power 4 3 to the power 4 6 to the power 4 and 1 to the power 4 so 4 to the power 4 will be 1616 256 9 into 9, 81. 66, 36, 36 into 36 is 1296, and this will be 1. So when we will plus this, 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 9 is. Twenty-three two plus two four four plus two is six, and then one. So one six three four is equal to one six three four. That's why it is Armstrong number.